and another one what's up people man right here coming to you with a video this time we are going to be looking at a coleman perfect flow stove with one burner uh, this is part of my hurricane preparedness uh, series that i am recording there are a couple of other videos that i did make with led lights uh, with night lights that are portable and can be used in an emergency situation along with a portable fan that you had saw previously along with a string of led lights that can be hung outside uh, this series is continuing on this one is a coleman perfect st uh, flow stove with one burner the key features of this product are uh, highly efficient and it does come with a sturdy base it does not come with a propane tank or a bottom tank uh, it can hold up to an eight inch pot it even has support system on the side this is what this looks like on the side and 10,000 BTUs which is pretty strong so let's go get started you can pick these items up either from Home Depot or Amazon uh, this is not a sponsored video I buy this stuff myself uh, nobody paid me for it I just like to showcase the good products that they have right at the back we have the stainless steel burner it has been used so there will be a little bit of a dinge to it because we lost power a couple of days ago and I was in the middle of cooking because I like to cook home food cook food so this can be used that is the burner it has a cover on it as you can see small burner but we'll have to see how strong it is the cover base the instruction manual and please do read it this is a 5431b series uh, burner I do have windows open so don't ever use this thing inside the place uh, plenty of uh, warning labels and how to turn it on how to turn it off and the steps and here's the base the thing that I did notice is it does not have a self starter so you will need a match or a torch and the type of canister that you need is a propane fuel Coleman this kind I'm using a 16 ounce it'll last you a long time so just step one put it down make sure the bottom is at the off position as you can see this one says off and off is facing down so first step put it on the base make sure it's secure make sure not to do use this inside it has to be outside take that and put it on hold the base that way it doesn't tip over and just thread it there are, it's a pretty long thread so that's continuously threaded and once it's threaded just make sure it's not too tight to turn it on just have your match on or your lighter on long enough match or long enough lighter then turn the knob on slowly as soon as it lights up let me turn the lights off and show you how strong it is And once you're done just turn it off completely make sure not to touch this thing so this thing might be hot if you have used it for a long time i just use it for a few minutes it is cold to touch i start from the top and go to the bottom remember safety is number one priority once it is cool off once it has cooled off just start turning it just make sure to hold the base and voila it is out once it's out put it back in the container and put the cover back on and use the uh, use the case as necessary definitely uh, in a camping environment if you're going out camping or if you have a power situation where the power goes out if you're in a hurricane have this thing handy uh, keep it in a cool dark place away from flames and you can use it if and when necessary in the cold in the heat and please don't use it indoors make sure to have the windows open if you're planning to use it indoors as always like comment subscribe and i will see you guys and girls on the next one later people bye